Hello and welcome to this hands-on lab where we will build our CRUD application with the help of code build. But before that, in the previous few lectures, we made some changes to our CRUD application. Let us see those changes and let us see what all we need to push to code commit. For that, let us do a git status. Okay. It says that we have modified prod. We did, where we actually added 8080 as port. Where is yes? So that's good. We deleted package log JSON. We don't need this, and uh, we are good with this. So we can push this change as well. We do not want to push the zip, so we will remove this. And proc file is something that we are good with as well. So the only thing that we need to take care of is we need to remove this zip file. Great. And now we can do git add to all other changes and git commit. And why don't we add the build spec file before we actually do the git commit or git push? Because if we have to build using code build, we remember that we will use the build spec file. And we can use the exact same build spec file that we used last time. We'll just pick one small change. Okay. And the build spec file is somewhere here. I, yeah, this is where the build spec file is. We will just change npm install we don't even want this we just want the code build service to do a zip of our application create the application packet zip and store it somewhere on s3 great so let us add this file so this is in a directory so this is in apps directory so we need to copy from a directory which is above a directory above and from here we need to copy build spec.yaml and where in the current directory great so we have build spec.yaml and now let us check the git status but before that uh, why don't we make change to this build spec yaml wherein we will take this out okay spacing is very important in these yaml files so i'm being extra cautious let us save this file as well and now let us do a git status okay so these are in staging and this is untracked once again let us do git add and git push before that git commit and the message is committing changes made to env.prod proc file package and build spec this is good enough message great and finally git push so our application is good i believe once we do this let us check this yes so package log json is gone build spec is here great now let us go to build build projects create build project and let us give it a name crud code build c b this time i want to be careful okay and source is code commit repository is crud app and branch is master Yes, committing changes, so this is 
picking up the latest one and managed image operating system amazon linux 2 run times we have we have gone through this previously as well so there isn't much of a difference here and we can use the existing service role there's nothing stopping us okay great always check this so that if there is something needed on the fly code build can adjust that we are using build spec file everything's going good copy it we haven't created the artifact store we will we will do that and yeah we have come to it so let us go to s3 and here the bucket is always there right teacher amit k is the one that we used last time yes teacher amit k if i'm not wrong or it was something else was it sample load app i don't know but that doesn't matter so much yes it was it was this it was sample node app okay so let us use the sample node app once again and this time we will use the path dev build hyphen crud okay and yes we want artifact that is the whole purpose and the bucket name is sample node app and name is we decided on dev build hyphen crud okay no need to enable semantic versioning if you remember if you want the name of your file zip file to be taken from your build spec then this is where you need to check path i'm not going to complicate this okay no in fact i have to do this this is the name part and i do not want to complicate this path is where i will give it okay and if i am not giving it any name and i'm not checking in enable semantic versioning it is by default giving it the name of the project crud cb we will see that cloudwatch logs yes please go ahead and that's it i think we're good zip it has to be a zip and we do not want encryption now we are good create build project and build project is created let us start a build let us see if it goes through zero hours five minutes and everything looks good start build fingers crossed let us see so it is submitted pleased it is queued now and now it the docker container will be provisioned i'm hoping and after that as i keep saying the game begins okay tantalizing it's taking its time once again oh uh, yeah i was once again about to say that allow me to pause and there it goes download source what will happen okay and this is where okay so this folder is created we had not created this guys it was it is created after the build has started okay so either we can create it beforehand or it will be created when the build starts looks like it is good completed wonderful yes and you have the zip file by the name of this project let us stay here and in the next lab session we will deploy using code deploy on a single ec2 instance 
Thank you and looking forward to seeing you in that session.